This is a story about unrequited love, as most love is. There once was a knight, Sir Aldinger was his name, who lived on the Isle of Skye. He was a bodyguard, as most knights were in those days, for the king at Tinbegan Castle. He was a big bear of a man with piercing eyes, a dark beard, and legs like tree trunks. He was the king's best knight. Now Sir Allinger was madly in love with the queen. One night he decided he was going to make love to her. He entered her chamber where she sat by the fire brushing her hair. He did everything he could to impress her. He sang to her and told her stories of his youth. When she rejected his advances, he decided he had better leave Dunvegan Castle and find work elsewhere. Just outside the castle gate, he ran into a leper in the woods. The next morning, Sir Allinger took the leper upstairs and noticing the queen was not in her chamber, had him lie in her bed. Then he told the king that the queen was being unfaithful. When the king went to the queen's room and saw the leper, he was shocked and terrified and decided to divorce the queen immediately. Now the punishment for adultery in the land at this time was death at the stake. So the king had a fire built and everyone, including Sir Allinger, came to watch. Just as the queen was being tied to the stake, a cloud of dust appeared on the horizon. The cloud of dust was caused by a small boy on a white horse whose sword was trailing on the ground. He came up to Sir Allinger and said, Sir, you have wronged your king and queen. I challenge you to a duel. When Sir Allinger laughed at him, the boy took out his sword and cut off Sir Allinger's right leg at the knee. Sir Allinger went bump on the ground. The boy cut off his other leg at the knee. Bump went Sir Allinger again. The boy said, now we are the same height and the match is even. Sir Allinger fell over backwards and couldn't move. The boy then told the king what Sir Allinger had done. The king forgave his queen and had Sir Allinger immediately tied to the stake in her place. The leper, who was watching the fire from a distance, turned into a handsome man and the king made him a knight. The king then thanked the boy, but when he offered the boy a place in his castle, the boy said no, wished everyone well, and rode off on his white horse. <laughs>